Well, hello there, everybody. It is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with episode number five of Going Medieval. Going Medieval is a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. Um, it is a lot of fun. We're uh, we're playing a community on the Aber Wyvern seed. That's uh, Aber Wyvern, as in uh, Aber Wyvern, the fictional community from David Macaulay's Castle, a uh, 1980s uh, kids book, um, which was uh, turned into a 1983 PBS um, animated documentary. Um, obviously, we're not doing a one for one here. Um, I just pulled some of the character names, and uh, the the end build is going to look something like Aber Wyvern from the book is the plan. Um, but yeah, and so in the last episode we left off, we finished our uh, warming center. We finished our engineering headquarters, where Osgar and Catherine are just just trucking away here. Um, everything's going as perfectly as it could. Everything's going as perfectly as it could for our community. Um, really, truly. Could uh, could put a helmet on Mark, I guess. Some armor. I don't think he's wearing any armor. There is some armor there for him. Oh, there is. He's wearing armor. Um, I don't see a helmet for him, so maybe that's why he doesn't have a helmet. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get through that. So I'm also going to set up the uh, workbenches. Um, to make sure we can get our stone bricks produced uh, as quickly as possible and uh, speed up time. It's winter day three. Uh, but yeah, we are we are going to spend the winter making. Yeah, Miss is working on it right now. Let's see what her uh, and who's Hankins assigned to the other one. Crafting stewardship. Yeah, so Hankin will come on down when he uh, when he has a free moment and start working on it as well. Um, and really, like that's all that's all we need to do. Um, I will, uh... Boy, I should just... I don't know, I should have just moved this one. I uh, I don't want to have to reset all the settings. But I will. It is, yeah, it's slated for deletion now. I will reset all the settings. Um, so we were uh, dismantling uh, things that were damaged, um, below 70% health, um, in the bottom two tiers, and the only things we weren't dismantling were, um, you know, there's nothing I won't dismantle at this point. Everybody's got winter clothes, so. Keep an eye on Mark's health here. He's, he's got some minor hypothermia. Wound tending is failing, I see that there. Uh, food reserves are low. Food reserves are low. This is getting on to uh, getting on to goat slaughter time, um, which which goats? Who are our oldest goats? We have an old male and old female. Got uh, okay. So. Where do I assign this? I assign this where Lenny can go and uh, Alsvin can go. Yeah, that's fine. Just We'll just uh, mark two of them for slaughter. So the research should be pretty quick. Um, we're gonna, it's gonna go really well here. We should also have a small pile of stone brick building up somewhere now, um, that they are, yeah, 260 stone, uh, limestone bricks already. That is fantastic. That's all we need. Keep an eye on the food production situation. I don't want to uh, to get them them to get behind. Um, stop producing animal feed. I think we've got eighty six. That's quite sufficient. Boats already got slaughtered. They did already got slaughtered. And the corpses should be down here. Yep, the corpses are down there, so Catherine will go theoretically take care of that first. Yep, yeah, she will. Wonderful. Okay. 
sure they're dismantling. Okay, Catherine's butchering the goats now, so that'll get us the meat that we need to cook. Keep the community fed for the rest of the season. Probably wind up slaughtering one, one more goat um, or going hunting later in the season. Sometimes like a herd of deer shows up um, late in the winter. That's always nice. Um, our influence is rising, yeah. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just clipping along here. Um, normally that takes longer than four hours of gameplay to get your influence on the rise, but we are, we are as far along as a community could, uh, could in effect hope to be. I am actually going to start laying out the, uh, the stone brick walls now. This is, okay, so I think. This, this is where I start to, uh, I think I'm just going to run off of this, this pattern here. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. We'll see in the long run. But if I just double the pattern two, and then a unit of one, and then it should be, uh, yeah, but this this is gonna be a very large round tower with the form. Um, I built four of them, right? There's gonna be one there, one over here, one there, one over here somewhere, um, more or less centered over top. It won't be exactly centered. I, I'll dig these out afterwards and put in supporting pillars underground. Um, uh, whatever, whatever you call those, the, the beams underground, the limestone beams. Right now, Andrew will turn the bricks that they're making into walls. And again, this is the, this is the harder to destroy stuff. Like, this is a real... Uh, a real tough material here. Who's my mining fella? Hankins the miner. I'll have Hank and uh, mine those areas out before he continues making stone brick. Research is... Oh, yeah. I mean, Catherine's off cooking, but this is going to be super rewarding. So then it'll be one, two, three. So this will be the center. Two, three, four, five, six. And this room is how wide? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it. Ten wides. This is, yeah, okay. This will be funny. Ten, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can 
Oops. Wait a second. But I can start to copy the pattern on the right sides. Oh yeah, that'll look really good. And that'll, and that'll be quite large for um, for an inner curtain. I don't I don't know if it's going to be a keep. I think um, the keep building is the inner curtain. I could like I could build a concentric keep within the. We'll see how much space I have in the end, whether it warrants a large stone house or just a courtyard. Also, like I better I better double measure. So we've got uh, 10, 6, and 6 is, so it'll be 20, uh, okay, 22, so I need to find the, um, 2, 3, what, wait, okay, now I'm starting to get confused by my own. Measurements here. Measure across there. I need to see this in daylight. It's a little, a little difficult to. Yeah, I've got the pattern. Up, up, over one. Yep. Up, up, up. Yep. Wait. Wait, that's what I've done wrong. Okay, I see. I see. All right, I'm. That's gonna disappear. So, hmm. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be an absolutely huge building. Merchant caravan, that's good. Um, where is the merchant? Merchant does not have animals. Probably a war merchant, I would guess, based on the large number of companions. I don't, I don't have any gold or silver, um, which I would normally trade for, like high tier weapons and stuff from the merchant. Um, I, I will be mining gold and silver this coming season. Of course, it's just gonna take some time. Oh man, I made it perfect. I made it actually perfect. Oh, this is going to be so cool when I'm done. I tell you, folks. I have every achievement in this game. I uh, have become I've become a little too good at it, to be honest. Um, not, to, not to toot my own horn or anything, but... Well, when it comes to medieval building games, I am... Uh, I'm a pro-tier... Comes the merchants. Catherine's talking to her right away. Okay. She's actually selling, uh, yeah, some clothes, some equipment. Um, she has some research books, which would speed things up a little bit for me. Mostly caps, cloth hats. Uh, I just have some mechanical components. I don't need any of this stuff. Winter clothes, which would be good if I needed them. Like that's, uh, it does have a flawless cap and a superior cap. I'll buy those. Not quite sure what we sell in exchange. The most valuable thing I have to offer by far is goats. And I have too many cats now. I actually have. Four cats. Whatever. It's a mark of my success that the cats are just surviving. Uh, there's something I have a lot of. Yeah, I've got 69 herbs. So let's sell two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight herbs. Yeah, that's fine. For the hats. And check the research. So. Gonna take a while to get to furniture too. Okay, now the sun's out, and I'm able to. Three, 
Yes. Okay. One, two. Yes. Three, one, two. Yes. We're going to put blocks there because they will go there anyway. And then a one and a one, two. And then a one and a one, two. And that should leave me a one, a two, and a three. Perfect. Okay, we've got the layout of the round tower, um, which does also allow me to. So how long was my seven? Uh, it was 22, right? So... I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it careful. It doesn't it doesn't actually have to be symmetrical, but I'm worried about this edge, right? Let me measure how far to the edge. So Twenty one. Okay. And what's the width of the tower block to block? Is thirteen. So assuming I want to leave at least one space. Um, I need to do a 13. Okay. Let's double check this measurement. Being perfect. So that leves a total tower-to-tower uh, -tower distance of 12. Difficult to say without deleting the segments here, but I'll delete the segments here. <sighs> 19, so it's not quite uh, 20, 22 slightly shorter in depth than it is in width, but that's fine. It will still look very good. I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. And that'll leave me, um, space to, I could probably, oh, so. This is going to become the gatehouse, I think. It's kind of like scale it up with some of these hard blocks or the limestone blocks. Good, he's going to mine that out next. At least make it an even number, not an odd number. So it's going to be 20 blocks. I just expanded it by uh, one. Okay. How does this work? Two, and then one, and then two, and then three. three. Two, one, one, two. Yes. Two, one, two. Okay. 
merchant's leaving. I mean, the outer the outer courtyard is going to be uh, more of an afterthought as the community expands, but this inner um, four 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 towered like quadrangle, I guess, um, is Also start them laying out these ones. It's gonna be one, two, one, two, three. It's hanging out in the middle of nowhere, that's fine for now. Two, one, one, two, one, two, three. This video is gonna be mostly me counting. <laughs> uh but but we're get we're getting there. That is top notch symmetry right there. Truly, truly great stuff. Okay. One, two. And leave these ones uh, as is for now. And these these large towers are like there. There's enough space in there for me to build stairwells going up, um, and that is. You know, I can I can put individual like like a library on one floor or a uh, like a barracks on one floor. Okay. So theoretically, just make sure that that actually lines up. It really doesn't look like it lines up, folks. Did I actually accidentally make it 23, or did I fuck up somewhere on my measurement? That definitely lines up. Damn, is it 23? It's 23. Because I'm, I'm so good at math. God damn it. Do I make it 24? Just double check that this actually lines up and I didn't screw that up. That lines up. That lines up. So. What mistake did I make? One, two, three, four, five. That should have been five, not six. Okay. It's not the end of anything here. Yeah, not the end of anything here. That's fine. I just have to move these three and reposition that tower to the left by one unit. I have to do it. Research is available. We still don't have furniture too. We're gonna get there. Might as well lay this tower out. I've got the dimensions proper on this side. It's two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. <laughs> yep. 
Okay. In fact, that'll now. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two. Around it. I'll probably just take the measurement uh, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will wait. I will wait just so I don't make another mistake. Okay, Hank's winter clothes just decayed, so this is a consistent problem where you get, and it says I have winter clothes, but if I do, I don't see them on any stockpile. So we'll put a corner there, and then measure out one, two, and then measure out one, two, three, one, two. Round towers in this game are so weird. I mean, they work, but they are weird. They barely work. Over there, yeah, in the research. Very nearly. Six more chronicles. My chronicler is also cooking, so that's hence, hence the delay. That's what I figured would happen, but it's not. It hasn't been a uh, major problem so far, to be honest. I want to build a stairwell down here, but uh, if, I, if I get attacked, that's just going to be a big old welcome sign. So I gotta, I gotta send everything out and around through the door. Eventually, I'll probably get stuck in one of these towers. I'll have to build a build a 
build a ladder up or something. We might get through the whole winter back to spring on this episode. Depends what happens if there's a raid or whatnot. M226. I don't think I can create a 26 by 26 space in here, but these, these towers are the biggest size they can be um, on this footprint. So I'm just I'm trying to visualize a concentric keep in the middle of this. I think it is a good idea, and I'm going to do it of like sheltered out buildings around the outsides. And then a concentric keep in the middle. And then a larger outer curtain that probably goes down this far. Um, it contains uh, more mixed-use agriculture, the animal pens. And kind of a terraced thing um, going up to the front. And then down here, we'll build a town um, out front. And I'll move some dirt and create some, some farm fields and apple orchards and all of that stuff. Speaking of apple orchards, I do have two apple saplings that I'm going to need to plant when the when the snows melt. This guy's stuck. He probably is stuck. Now. I can't, I can't imagine he's going to have a, an easy time getting down from there. Well, stairwells aren't permanent either. This is all it's probably going to be a more a more complex uh, stair, and the stair will be within the tower as opposed to outside. Okay, furniture two is available to me, so that's wonderful. Now I can set up the uh, a couple chests. How much iron do I have? Got some iron, so let's build four iron chests down here to store uh, winter clothes. One, two, three. Let's make three iron chests for winter clothes, and make sure right away I put. Uh, some armor racks as well. So I can store armor and
For now, we'll build the... We can build a wooden stair. This is going to be super temporary. No point in making something sturdy that uses more finite resource. Five boars just arrived. Uh, we're not domesticated, though. Wild. Wildlife numbers are going back up. Just three female boars. There's young boar. I don't have anything to tame them with. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be pretty amazed, I think, when you see the, the final quality of this of this build. Oh, the boars are over here. That's interesting. I wonder if I could lure them into like uh like some kind of pen here. They're putting some, I don't know, I don't want to use my barley, but maybe put some animal feed out there. Uh, put a default stockpile. Uh, clear. Let's have the fodder. Let's make it animal feed. And then I'll switch the uh, sheep to hay temporarily. Fodder uh, over to hay. I've never tamed, but those boars are, those boars are close enough that it's, it's tempting. I'll have Andrew start with the wicker fence right away. I should have a shit ton of sticks. You know what? I'll actually have him start with the wooden stairs right away. Of course, right here, as soon as they build this, there's going to be an attack. Almost guaranteed. Oh, uh, there's a large amount of dirt that I need to dig as well. So I can move uh, arable land around this season. That'll be almost ever is doing the mining over there. Really should face this building in uh, limestone brick too. In case the trebuchet shows up. Start actually building my uh my gatehouse. I'll just I'll just use a variation of this this design for a double gate. It'll look nice. And okay. I need you, Andrew, to prioritize the wicker fence.
Who else can construct? Pang can construct, so I'm going to take him off mining for the moment. And Kevin can construct, so I'm going to take him off animal husbandry as a primary. Where is my animal feed then? In that corner there. This, this could pay off in a big, big way if I can trap these pigs, even if, uh, like, because then they can't leave. Um, even if, if it takes me forever to tame them. Um, if they're penned, it'll be easier, and I can I can make it safer for the tamers. Like, I haven't actually done this before in this game, and they might they might leave before I get this pen done. It's a little big. Oh, we got baby sheep's now. Midday prayer break. making them finish all this before they of course the pigs are gone oh the pigs are pigs are here Why did the pigs run in there? Okay, wait a second now. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so what happened here is um, the fence. Uh, defaults. So it's prioritized closing the gates. My animal feed has attracted three wolves. I have three, uh, three tamed wolves. Well, not tamed wolves, rather. I have three pen three penned wolves.
Okay, this is fine. It's just, I'm going to lose a little food. It's fine now. Really got to convince those pigs to... You know, technically, I could just plug this up and they'd be my prisoners, right? I'd already have the... Okay, let's do that instead. And then I'll... Like I said, this is my first time doing this. I have not... Uh... Okay. Seriously. I don't, know. I don't know why you can't click to remove a thing. Who is it? That yeah, so Hank and has to haul the ash. Oh. And Remove that and create a new food stockpile that the pigs can gravitate to, just in this back corner here. The wall seems to be pretty complete. I got one, two, two pieces. Uh, let's actually construct that one right now. And then this is um, fodder, so the animal feeds. I'll have Kevin just quit what he's doing and haul it to the stockpile again. So the wolves don't eat it, but the wolves are penned. Put these up. There, now everything's blocked in. The only way, the only way to get in and out is through the multiple gates. So those pigs are trapped in my courtyard. Enemies can't get in either, so I've managed to. to... Establish access control. Now all I need to do is build a pen, an internal pen, so the pigs don't wander. There they go. And let's put a wicker gate. leave a hole in the wall there for now. Might as well put just a regular door on it. Wait, 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 wait. How'd you get in? Or was it already in?
Oh, that's how they got in. They, damn, god damn this game. That uh, this formed a bridge they can walk over now, and so things are able to get in and out. Well, that is super funny. It works that way, but it's also super annoying. Oh, dude, that one. Yeah, you know the important one? Okay, Hank, and you need to not do that for a second so he can get back out. Oh, he's going to trap himself in like a genius. Oh, they can still get out. There we go. Wow, this is uh, this has come a long way from I uh, just in, in the course of one episode. Really, like this has been the weird winter's not you know usually a highly productive time in this game. Um, we are running low on food, and animals are hungry because we are out. Of, we're out of hay. They ate all the hay. This is a this is a disaster. This is a disaster. How the fuck did they eat all the hay? Something must have happened. I guess the pigs ate the hay because they were free and no one delivered the hay to the pens. I'm... I'm pretty mad about that. I think uh, we're going to lose some animals. And... These will just starve. These will just starve. So... Nobody delivered the animal feeds. Feeds. We pretty much need to slaughter all the goats now. That's sad. Goodbye, goats. Uh, where are my? Okay. Let's just keep two goats and every other goat dies. Even the little ones. To be honest, the cats are kind of weird too. I don't really understand what the... And put all the animals in one pen. So they can eat what little food we have left. Oh man, that was heartbreak right there. Losing. I lost 700. Hey, I could. And we're low on our own food. But, but we're going to eat the goats. We'll make it through winter, but I don't know if those animals are going to live into spring. It's going to be like picking every blade of grass to feed them.
Oh, that's really too bad. But the curtain wall is done. The inner curtain wall is uh, blocked out. And I have managed to contain the pigs. I've managed to contain some wolves. Although they too will starve if I don't, I don't throw them some meat. So I'm going to have to throw them some meat. Like, there's just more mouths, more problems, really. Like, it, you know, there's an escalating series of issues. And it, it all started because I got greedy. I got greedy and I wanted these damn pigs. They're going to starve. Guys are full, though, for a while. I don't I don't think we're gonna we're gonna make it through winter. I'm probably gonna uh, stop this uh, this episode here and uh, give it some thought before I rush into the next one because I really don't want to lose my sheep. Um, we need that wool. We desperately need that wool. Everything else is unimportant um, next to the sheep and uh, next to the sheep or the pigs. The goats can go. like I don't they're easy come easy go. You can tame them in the wilds. but uh, oh a stonebrook. But yeah, well, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's about all for me for now. I think uh, I think I'm gonna go play some chivalry. I uh, started doing a video yesterday and uh, realized I didn't know how to play the game um, anymore. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hopefully have a, a video or two up um, talking about chivalry and um, the very 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 fun gameplay loop. Um, that's chivalry too, technically. But um, yeah, uh, that's all for me for now. This is Postmodern Cowboy playing going medieval. Uh, as always, uh, if you like watching me play games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, throw me a like, subscribe to my channel. As always, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>